one of the things that I'm actually not like that much, but it has to be done. I have to drill some holes into the boat, and uh, that is because uh, the boat arch, uh, no, not the boat arch, the bow spear. Um, I have to, from uh, from this corner, and oh, oops, down there somewhere, there have to be a, a pipe, uh, so that when um, that is mounted on the boat there and it's uh, mounted up there then you have like a triangle and um, then it's gonna stay in place so so um, I just measure up where I have to make the hole so now I just have to drill it oh, it's 25 centimeters over the waterline here but I am gonna raise the waterline because at some point the boat probably gonna be heavy loaded with uh, supply and equipment so it's better to do it now than later. I don't like make holes in the boat, and especially not in that area, but uh, I have to do it. <laughs> So now I uh, mounted the basket for uh, the, um, the pipe going up supporting the ball spear and um, unfortunately my arms are not uh, 4 meters long so um, I have to use some other kind of tools and for that my brother come in handy and he's every time I need it he's very kind coming out uh, helping me by holding in the other end of, uh, of the tools so, um, so I'm very pleased and thank you for saying full for that because uh, I couldn't do it alone and uh, so uh, we have a, a good way to uh, communi communicate what we need to do so uh, that's nice so then we also have a little time for a cup of coffee and old stories so I need to clean up some some of the epoxy from priming the holes is running out and it's still a little bit liquid so I can scrape it with uh, with uh, these wooden tools and then uh, some paper towels and alcohol, then I can clean it off. So that I will do now before it cures. So it's so good as it gonna get. So I have to show you something. Um, I was uh, by a, a smith making uh, stainless steel work, cutting and all that kind of stuff with laser and all that. And um, he have been bending these pieces for me. It's like uh, each part is uh, like 50 kilos. That would be around 100 pounds. And um, I will need to cut um, 11 centimeters off in each side to get into the right size. There are three of, of those, and those three combined will make a full, uh, full uh, 360 degree circle. And that is um, that I have to mount on top of uh, 
of this piece um, and uh, that will stand on the foredeck supporting the mast a little higher because there's not much room from the bottom of the mast to where it goes through the deck so by adding this pipe then there of course going to be some some stainless steel standing on the outside uh, so it looks like an engine cylinder or something like that to support it so uh, that I'm looking forward to uh, to start welding on what I'm not looking forward to is to get it out of the car because uh, it's they are something quite else I was lucky about is that uh, the guy was having some uh, Teflon material lying around and that is good for uh, for when you have two pieces of metal working uh, against each other then you can put that in between so it works a little better and that I'm actually gonna need for my, uh, for my wind van self steering gear and um, I'm not gonna build it now I'm gonna build it in one or two years from now it's first when the boat is in the water but uh, sometime when you can get your dirty hand on some material that you're gonna need later then you just collect because uh, uh, it can be hard to find elsewhere and um, I was very lucky to get it for a very good price because it's just uh, some, yeah, it's cut off from what he has been doing, but it's still a quite expensive material. And then, uh, of course, I was doing some uh, some dumpster diving and uh, finding some some small pieces. He was actually just had just emptied his uh, his dumpster, but uh, I was still lucky enough to find some some small pieces. And it's uh, it's okay; it doesn't need to be a gold mine all the time, but when you're lucky just to find the right pieces and it's actually better than there are a whole lot and you can see the right pieces lying there but you cannot get to it because they're lying like four tons of stainless steel on top of it so that is very nice <laughs> now I just have to get out of the car and that is not nice but uh, I will see how I, I get it done So what I'm doing now is uh, cutting some uh, plywood for the fin that is located in front of the rudder and um, it's gonna get like a double wing shape that means that it's have a wing shape on each side and to build it up you could do it in form or you could do it in plywood and I prefer to do it in plywood so uh, and because I have some stiffness in stainless steel, I cannot just apply one big layer. Uh, it has to um, be built around those uh, stainless steel connector. And they are, I believe, more or less holding it in place, but uh, the fiberglass is also gonna do a lot of the, the constructive um, fixture of, uh, of the forefin. So, um, yeah, now actually I could do that I get, that I could go out, out and measure up some some pieces and cut them into shape and so on, but I think it's faster just to cut some 
some rough uh, pieces and then prime them with epoxy on both sides and when uh, they are cured uh, or when the epoxy is cured uh, then cut it into shape because then ca I can mount them at once. I can cut them and glue them, put them on and then uh, so on so I don't have the pieces standing around and in two months I forgot what it is I have been cutting. So uh, that is what I gotta do now. I brought Ella with me today in the workshop and uh, because the circular saw of course makes a lot of noise I need to wear ear protection but uh, because she is on the workshop she also needs to wear uh, ear protection because uh, otherwise she is gonna have this uh, very high frequent tone in her ear when she goes to sleep tonight and we don't want that to happen so she has brought a couple of my ear protection so Okay, jeg skærer lidt, hvis du får lidt ned i den anden ende. Uden at falde. Kan du bære den her? Hvis du lægger den øh, derovre et eller andet sted. Bare læg den på gulvet. Ikke? Bare hen midt på gulvet der. Det er fint. Jeg slipper. So now they just need to be primed uh, with some thin epoxy and I'm not sure if I try to prime both sides at the same time and then make some kind of jig uh, where they can stand so they don't get glued into what is underneath. But I see what I do. Yeah. I'm not I'm not sure if you can see it, but Ella just tried to steal some of the wood that have to go into the boat. But uh, I think we take it out. Okay? It's like a bowl, it's okay? So then.